Once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong. G'day, welcome to On The Road Australia. Today I'm heading back to the quarantine station to have a bit of a look around. Um, such a glorious day, a little bit windy, and I might pop across to the Fairfax Walk and the North Fort, if you can get in there, I think you can. The place where your big brother was being filmed. Anyway, come along, let's have a look. Roll the intro. Because we are one. So this is the, the tunnel entry and exit. Um, it's been closed for a while because of COVID. Been down there a few times. So the tunnels, they lead out to those fortifications that we just went past. Um, look down there, it's pretty dark. Hello. Hello. They're amazing tunnels. They've also used those tunnels in Big Brother, Australia. Amazing place here. This is North Fort. I thought they were still um, filming Big Brother, but looks like they're all packed up. It's bush turkey. Bush turkey. Hello. Gobble, gobble, hello. One just flew out of a tree, but look, see that little low branch where that little bird flew out? Mm. Sitting in the middle of the branch? Mm. Red faced black cocky. There's that look, wall. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, before. There's that wall. It's continues along from there. Yeah. One. That's a different one. Yeah, that's the one that was over there. Hello. Hello, Bertie. I haven't got anything to give you. I know that's why you're here. You're beautiful. Hello, darling. Look, I've got nothing in the hand. See, I've got nothing. Bite your hand off. I've got nothing, darling. Go I'm kill sorry. it. Big teeth come out and grab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I bet you think there are drop bears in the trees as well. <laughs> Tell anybody there's not. I tell the Americans all the time there is. Do you know when I was in um, where I was from, all they wanted to know about um, the drop killer because yeah. they had seen this documentary, they were absolutely adamant. So there might be one up there now. To kill a drop bear. There's koalas with big fangs. And they fall on your head and grab you by the head. And they start shrieking. Yeah, yeah. Here's the memorial walk up here. Give our respect to the fallen. Beautiful view up here from the city. Of the city. Look at that. Our city of Sydney. Our city of Sydney. What's that say? Learn about my heritage. Ah, oh, you get your QR code. That's a nice monument up there. Memorial Walk. 
So this is a um, monument for the colonial wars. Look at this, look at this, the colour of this piece of sense. The difference. New Zealand Wars. It's beautiful. Second Boer War, South Africa, 1899 to 1982. It's the Boer War. Cape Colony. Swaziland. Transvaal. Shocking, it's all burnt out. Yeah. Oh, look at that by itself, Gallipoli. Oh, yeah, it is too. We've still got them on the Banks Town Hospital. And they've still got them at Oatley Park. We planted that about 30 years ago. World War One. All these bricks, the tiles. Australian Commonwealth Military Forces. It's the outbreak of World War One, which went from 1914 to 1918. Gallipoli, 1915. Just look at the banding in the sandstone, Jeff. Look at how it's The Sinai Palestine campaign, 1915 to 1918. Sandstone's gorgeous. Look at the colours, how they brought those colours out like that. So it's just beautiful. The Western Front. the western front here so from going all the way up through France so with Belgium Luxembourg it's so quiet up here it's North Fort it's a beautiful walk this love it here I don't think many people know about this place what do you reckon? Um, Nobody ever talks about it. I think it's very deliberately not promoted because I don't think they want it to be a tourist attraction. It is essentially a war memorial of sorts and I think they want it to stay that way. It's funny when I worked in the eastern suburbs hospitals, they never seem to leave the eastern suburbs people. I haven't heard of anything. No, they haven't. From the west, they no. west wouldn't go western suburbs. There's, they wouldn't go like they north. Never they never travel further to west than George Street. That's the limits. Yeah, you went to Penrith. That's like. So North Africa, 1940 to 1943. First Libyan offensive, 1940 to 1941. El Alamein offensive, 1942 to 1943. The Mediterranean Theatre, all around Crete. Hmm. And that's the South East Asia, 1941 to 42. Southeast, all well, that really hot it up. South East Asia and South West Pacific Theatre. My father was in the North African campaign. The corpse. So eerie here with these trees all burnt, it's like moonscape. But it's starting to grow back over there, around those yeah, trees, think, to the base of the trees. That, I don't think that was as badly burnt. It doesn't. But even that one, see that one over there, like, wouldn't have been seen to grow, grow back really quick. Fair lot of rain too, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. If we get good rain right up in the spring, um, it'll recover quite well. Post World War II. It's occupied forces and everything, so be. Well, this will be a career,
well, Korea. Yeah, but it should, be, oc it should be occupied. It should be occupied. Should be occupied. Well, this is Korea here, but it should be occupied forces as well. Thought would have that. Vietnam, Iraq. This one's fairly. Look at this one here. See that? This one here. This is fairly new. Yeah. So Afghanistan. My went to Korea. He went to Malaya. This artillery gun here. It's huge. Yeah. Um, so the tunnels that started up near the car park, one of the sections one comes out here. So I've been up in here. We've come up here. And also here. Hmm. So there's the steps down there, that one. You have to be midget to go in those ones and put the top on there now. Look at this door. Look at asbestos. You still go in here? No. Ah, damn that. Look at it where it used to be, this gun. That's probably that one down there, you know. Might be. You think so? Maybe. Look at the doors and the rails are so heavy. Yeah, yeah, From the noise and the shock, the thickness of these doors. And that's where they pass all the shells. They came up through these. Because down the bottom, when you're in the tunnel, you can see where they come up here. Yeah. Come up these elevator things. Yeah, yeah. And that rotated on those tracks around there. Well, strictly speaking, civilians can't go in there. You used to be able to walk up here. I've been up here before. That's a nice. It's, it's nice, isn't it? Imagine those guns going off. Oh. You'd hear it right across Sydney Harbour. Because they do a lot of testing for range tests here. Imagine that. I know there are a few times when I was over at Watson's Bay when this was still active and they, not those big guns, but they do some artillery testing and you'd, you would feel it, you wouldn't just hear it. This is where Big Brother is, Big Brother Australia. No, they used to have the signs up on the show, you can see on the show. Got to be careful these um, bandicoots, they just jump out and attap, attach themselves to your head and start ripping apart your head, just like those killer drop bears. So watch out when you come to Australia. I understood Royal National Park. <laughs> Look at this, terrible. Looks spooky. Mm. It's see what I mean? There's a little green growth underneath, so it can't be part of the the burning off they've been doing. It must have been last summer. Did it? How open it is now? Look, the grass trees are restrained. They must have contained this after here. I'd say so. This is a good spot down here. It's good photos here. Yeah. Burnt areas are unsafe. Fire recovery works in progress. Yeah. Fire damage. It's probably reseeding. It says fire damage. So what's that say? Oh, it's <laughs> obviously being deliberately lit. Hopefully no animals were killed. It's desolate, isn't it? Is the seeds will pop out when the fire. Yeah, but it looks so weird. It's a terrible thing that will happen, but it's got a good effect, isn't it? 
Oh, they've closed that off. Damn it. You walk right out, it's really good. Unstable. Okay, I must have got that sort of fire. It's certainly the life if you can it. What other city in the world's got all this? Yeah, <laughs> like, unbelievable. Unbelievable. You sometimes forget just how... Because that's good there, you absolutely blessed you. we are here. Oh, bushfire recovery. We will damage to growth on your herds, please. Plants regrow. Where are they? Okay, see where that boat is there. Yep. Look back along its train and every so often you'll see things coming to the surface. Look. And I think they might even be coming in a bit closer. But see see those little breaches? I'm pretty certain that's Sure. Well, the lady with the binoculars said she that it looks like a pod. So there's just a they're all together just behind this tree that's right in front of us. So you can just see them. Oh yeah, I think I did. See? They're so, so, just yeah, yeah. To the surface. Yep. Got them. Did you want to have a look? You got focus on that? Yeah, yeah, I got focus, but of course nothing's coming to the surface now or something. Oh no, they're there. Yeah, I see them. You can take a photo if you want. No thanks. <sighs> Should have brought the binoculars. I wonder if that boat out there is a bloody whale watching boat. Which this one? This is the time where the whales are here at the moment. Which one? That red, is red and white or orange and white thing. Oh, right way out in that, that far group. Yeah. Probably. They did the whale watching from Sydney Harbour. You know one of the best spots is down at um, Bundina. Yeah. They've got that platform there. Yeah. They all come in close to land there. Top of the cliff at Watermulla. Yeah. But they've got to be Why swimming. Bloody... They've got to be swimming in close to get a good Why view of them. She's lucky she spotted them. He's doing a time lapse. But I also wonder. Oh. Wouldn't you like to go and sit over there? Yeah, it's perfect, wouldn't it? I wonder what was there at some stage. Simon. Oh, pretty heavy for Simon. Yeah. <laughs> RSJ. Yeah. 